Tip number three is tell someone that you're going to wake them up for Qiyamul Layl. So call up one of your friends or a family member. I'll tell them, listen, I got you tonight. Don't worry about it. I'll wake you up. You tell them, I will wake you up for Qiyamul Layl. Baby, you can call me a superman Chucho tauta taka ni taku pama Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction videos. But before we get into the reaction video guys, I wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP man. Thank you so much. And to all my Muslim brothers out there, Salam Alaikum. Hope everybody's having a good day and uh thank you so much for actually you know commenting on the comment section and giving us positive vibe you're the realest mvp and also we want to thank the people who've been able to you know reach us out in terms of uh giving us reaction videos that's that's the most utmost you know uh, way of expressing um that you're a family or something like that like you want to be part of what we are doing you know thank you so so much so now uh, today I'm gonna do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that I should go react to or we or rather we should go react to seven tips for the night prayer thank you so much for the people who've been giving us this reaction right here with the real MVP so without any further ado guys let's get it hey, I wanted to give you seven tips that will help you pray Qiyamul Layl. Number one is to not go all out when praying Qiyamul Layl. And I know that may sound counterproductive, counterproductive but hear me out a little bit. Now, we're, we will be tempted to get up and pray like an hour of Qiyamul Layl or two hours of Qiyamul Layl because we're charged up and we're really excited about praying Qiyamul Layl and you want to experience that spiritual time that I talked about. But I tell you to take it easy. That get up for five or ten minutes. But get up for a time that you can be consistent with. The Prophet ﷺ said that the most beloved actions to Allah are those actions done consistently even if they're less. Meaning it is better for us to pray five minutes of Qiyam layl for the rest of our lives than to get up and pray two hours tonight, tomorrow we pray an hour and then nothing after that. Tip number two, make the intention to pray Qiyam al-Layl before you go to bed. Now this is one of the, this is one of the amazing things that the, that the Prophet ﷺ, it's like a, one of the, the tips that the Prophet ﷺ actually gives. The Prophet ﷺ said that a person who goes to bed with the intention to pray Qiyam al-Layl, meaning before going to bed, they said, inshallah, tonight I'm going to pray Qiyam al-Layl. And they set their alarm and all that stuff. And they wake up in the morning and they realize Fajr is already in. And they missed Qiyam al-Layl. The Prophet ﷺ said this person will not only get the reward for Qiyam al-Layl, but they will also, this sleep will be a sadaqah for them, will be a charity from Allah. Meaning they will have a blessed sleep. They will have barakah in their sleep. So if you made the intention and you got up in the morning, it's like a win-win situation. Alhamdulillah, if you made the intention and you woke up, you got to pray Qiyam al-Layl. That's awesome. If you, got, if you made the intention and you didn't wake up, you get the reward for Qiyam al-Layl. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is tell someone that you're going to wake them up for Qiyam al-Layl. So call up one of your friends or a family member. I'll tell them, listen, I got you tonight. Don't worry about it. I'll wake you up. You tell them, I will wake you up for Qiyam al-Layl, inshaAllah ta'ala. And you know what this is going to do? This is going to force you to get up because now you're responsible for somebody else. <laughs> you're responsible to wake someone else up. And here's the thing, right? It's not just you're responsible. If you manage to get up, inshallah ta'ala, you are maximizing your reward. Because not only are you waking yourself up for Qiyam al-Layl, you're waking somebody else up. And you will be rewarded for, the act, for, for their action. As the Prophet said, the person who starts a good sunnah, something good, meaning encourages someone else in a good deed, they will have the reward of their own action and the, and the reward of the others who followed in that action until the day of judgment. Can you imagine you got up tonight and you called somebody and you said, listen, get up for Qiyam al-Layl. And this person now, because of that one phone call, they started praying Qiyam al-Layl for the rest of their life. 
And you maybe, khalas, this is the only night you pray to Qiyam al-Layl, you never pray to Qiyam al-Layl again. This is the only night, khalas, you're like, okay, I can't do this, forget this. But they managed to pray Qiyam al-Layl for the rest of their lives. Now you're getting reward for all of their Qiyam al-Layl. I mean, that's just amazing. And imagine that they woke up somebody else and the reward continues for you until the end. Number four, go to sleep early. And I know this is something that, you know, we kind of abandon and we don't really think about sleeping early. But I tell you that the Prophet ﷺ would dislike staying up after Isha. And I'm not saying, listen, pray Isha, go to bed 10 minutes later, because the Prophet ﷺ would sometimes delay his Isha prayer. I'm saying, go to sleep at a reasonable hour. And make the intention that you're doing this not to just to get rest, but to pray Qiyam al-Layl. And you'll see your sleep will be, have barakah in it. It'll be blessed sleep. Number five. Don't be too comfortable when you go to bed. And at the same time, don't be too uncomfortable. And I know uh, we're tempted in this day and age to buy like the fluffiest, nicest mattress we can possibly find. And that's, all, that's cool. And you know, that's, we hope that that will give us better sleep. But actually, in actuality, it doesn't really give us better sleep. And the thing is, if we're too comfortable, we're not going to be too likely to wake up. And so this is why you'll see people now, they go to the other side and they'll say, listen, sleep on the floor. And I know people will say, you know what, I'm just going to sleep on the floor because I'm going to implement the Sunnah of the Prophet and I'm going to sleep on the floor and I'm going to have, I'm going to get up for Qiyam al-Layl. What usually ends up happening is people don't get restful sleep and they get overly tired. So if they manage to get up for Qiyam al-Layl, it's like this weird experience where they're tired and this and that. And so I say, listen, find a bed which isn't too comfortable and find a find bed that isn't too comfortable either. So something in the middle. And as we know, the bed of the Prophet ﷺ was made out of uh, date palm leaves. To the point when the Prophet ﷺ, when he would get up, he would have marks on his back. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number six, uh, go to sleep in a state of tahara, in a state of purity. And this was the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, and he instructed us to encourage us to go to sleep uh, in a state of tahara. And you'll find that if you sleep in a state of wudu, you're doing a couple things. Number one, you're reminding yourself of the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So you're saying, listen, I'm implementing the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ before going to bed. And this will cause you to have barakah in your sleep. Because you can have two people, they both slept two hours. And one person has no barakah in his sleep and he'll get up and he'll be tired. But this other person who slept two hours, they had barakah, they had blessings in their sleep. So this two hours was like the most amazing sleep they had. So one of the ways to infuse barakah in our lives and in our sleep is to implement the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So take the sunnah and, and apply it. My last tip, inshallah, and I'm going to end with this, is try not to eat and drink too much. This is so nice. This, this is so, so, such an amazing tips, actually. I mean, if you follow these tips, you'll be able to have a very good prayer for night and stuff like that. I mean, such an amazing. I know most of the people didn't know about the tips, but right now, as you went through the video, you were able to, you know, uh, apply the tips in your in your night prayers, and it will be beneficial to your uh, to your night prayers. I mean, this is so amazing. I I caught some of the tips that are actually like I knew about them, like don't eat too much, and don't drink too much at night, and also make sure you sleep early. I mean, it's really important when you sleep early and when you uh, uh, not eat too much. Uh, I mean, that one even scientifically, if you eat too much and drink too much, you tend not to be able to wake up and stuff like that. You'll be just feeling lazy. The, the, the whole time you'll feel just you want to sleep and sleep and sleep and stuff like that. But anyway, such an amazing video idea. Right anyway guys, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video right here. Just let me know in the comment section below. Did you know about these tips or this is your first time you're coming across these tips right here? Just let's have a discussion below. And if you have more tips, just let me know in the comment section below so that we can share out with other people. So that I can also be able to look at them and uh, uh, be able to also practice them. Anyway, guys, and the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And uh, another important thing, guys, we have a new channel which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Make sure to go and subscribe to that channel. The link is going to be on the the link is going to be on the comment section below. Just click that link 
and you'll be able to see all the videos that we are doing and all the fun videos just you know we are people who have our own lives too we tend to show you people what we do we have uh, different lives uh, we are students we work and we love creating content yeah that's mostly what we love doing anyway guys just make sure to go and subscribe watch our videos and make sure to put put uh push that notification bell on so that you'll be the first person to watch our videos anyway guys thank you so much i appreciate you guys until next time i'm going to see you in the next video and peace out